Moving in to talk with us now in the postgame show, Justin Daniels, after a big win for the Golden Eagles. And, and Daniels, you weren't necessarily the – or Justin, I guess, you weren't you weren't really the, the top scorer on the team, but yeah. in overtime, you stepped up when it mattered most. I think you had nine of the first 11 points for the team. What clicked there in overtime for you? Uh, you just you just needed to get the dub. And I couldn't, couldn't let the team go out like that. I needed to, to bring in energy. I just kept, kept telling myself my time was going to come, and that time came. But – I appreciate my teammates for keeping me keeping me going, telling you, Jay, your shots gonna fall, they're gonna fall. And that, that really got me going. And once that got me going, it just took off really. It seemed like the fast break for this team too is really what got things going too. The defense starting to force some steals, starting to force some turnovers. Is that when you guys thrive the best is when you're getting out on the run? Yeah, for sure. Because we have we have so many guys that that are fast, <clears throat> can get downhill and just get in their own bag whenever. So if like fast breaks to really help a lot because it, it opens up everybody's game and and everyone loves to attack and get to the rim and finish at the rim. So talk about a little bit about the team. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. But when we talk about the defensive side too, it, that that those steals kind of offset the fact that you guys haven't been top of the game rebounding yet. You're still kind of working on that side yeah. of things. Does that help offset things? And do you feel like the rebounding is going to improve as it goes? Uh, yeah, I feel like the the rebounding is going to improve. We just have to keep getting in there and keep being keep being uh, aggressive. Just keep being aggressive. But I I, I really think. The rebounds is going to start to pick up, but the steals, the, they for sure help us a lot, for sure. Wrap it up with two more questions for you. Six out of the nine guys that play tonight end up with double figures. And when you see a team like that that has that balance, how excited does that make? Have you ever played on a team that's got that type of scoring balance? Nah, nah, never. This, this is probably the most exciting team I played because it's like – you could look down the bench and, and any guy can make the same shot you can or anybody can make the make a shot. So anybody can step up. It could be anybody's night. One night it could be my night. It could be another person's night, another person's night. So that's what I really love about this team. And you guys played two grueling mat games back to back. And legs, I could tell a little bit there towards the end. Yeah. You were jumping up a bit on the court trying to wake them up a bit. But when you can go back to back games with triple digit scoring uh, with nine, ten guys deep, what does that I guess the resolve of this team shows them that, I'm sure. Um, I mean, to me, like, I feel like that really shows, like, we can hang with the best throughout anything, throughout any adversity. So I, I really like – I really I love the team with that because we never back down. Even like you've seen at halftime, we were down. We could have got down on ourselves, but we kept fighting and just kept going and going and going. So that's what, one thing I really like about the team as well. Justin, congratulations on the win, man. We'll look forward to seeing what you guys can do as, as uh, you got a couple more road games coming up and then Thanksgiving at home. Yes, sir. Thank you. Post game here with head coach Dwayne Salisbury for the Golden Eagle men and coach crazy crazy game there against western nebraska kind of walk us through just the overall concept of the game i mean slow start really good second half and then over time we're able to finish it you know it's uh it's it's a tough one that was uh the first half was just we could not find our rhythm and i think you know when you play a game last night and then drive five hours and you know uh <clears throat> don't get we got back i think maybe one two o'clock in the morning it was just a, you know, just a long, long day. So I was very, very happy with the way that they came out and uh, competed the second half. And uh, the most important thing is we know how to grind out a basketball game. So it was nice to see. Back-to-back -back games where you guys put up triple figures. Uh, this, uh, even with overtime, you're still up above 90 points in this game. And this team has shown the ability to score and get better and better at scoring as it goes. But a lot of it came from free throws and just making free throws. That was the difference in this game. And that was a, tr a struggle for the team last year. You know, it, it was last year. I think we have better shooters this year. So I don't, I don't think it's going to be a problem moving forward. But, um, you know, I'm happy with the points we can score. We've got to get the other team's uh, – you know their average down so if we can do that we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna be just fine wrap it up with two more questions for you coach the first one brandon shua averaging over 18 points coming into this game puts up another 25 point game mm -hmm. just the 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 ability for him to find space and score is just really impressive on what he does i don't have an answer for it <laughs> <laughs> you know he can he finds a way to to, uh, to, you know, he finds cracks that, you know, I don't even see that's there and is able to get him in there. You know, where he's really, really stepping up as a sophomore, and that's what you want to see. And not only him, Pedro kept us in it that first half. Uh, Jordan down the stretch was big. Uh, Abdul down the stretch was big. So our sophomores really stepped up. And then our freshmen, we have some freshmen come along. We talk about Justin. He did a really, really a great job uh, in this game today. 
talk a little bit about the post play too, because you mentioned Abdullah kind of having to step in and play extended minutes after mm -hmm. Cam went down with a little bit of an injury. Cam fought through it, and, and, yeah. and props to him, but Abdullah really took a chance to shine out there in that second half. They did. He's getting better and better. I know, you know, sometimes I know, uh, you know, when you don't play sometimes as much as you want, sometimes you can, you know, get down on yourself. And he's doing a really, really good job of trying to keep his head up. His teammates are doing a good job of, of helping him do that. And uh, I think he's just going to get better and better. Coach, we appreciate the time, and congratulations on moving to 3-1. and one. We'll take it.